Well, good morning and welcome back to Balfour Farm. Today we have got a lot to do, so we have started extra early today. So it's about six o'clock, just after six o'clock right now. I'm gonna bring the cows up and try and get them milked as quickly as possible this morning. So we have a Amish construction crew coming to uh, work on the milk house. They're coming to do some more work on that. They need to finish the front wall of it to close it in, put some doors and windows in it. And, uh, but before we do that, I have to move a new bulk tank in <laughs> into the building before we close it in. So uh, there's plenty to do there. Come on, get up, let's go. Good girl, let's go, come on. Let's go, come on. Fogging up the camera. <laughs> yes. Give you a pet. Is that what you want? <laughs> she is feisty this morning. Cows are full of it this morning. It's starting to look a lot different now. Finally get the wall out, so. Well, there it is, mostly in place. Got some little adjustments doing it. Really can use a good cleaning now, but brand new tank. It has been a very busy day today and uh, it's about six o'clock now. The Amish left, oh, maybe half an hour ago or so uh, and they got quite a bit done. It's been a very productive day. So this here is the uh, entrance to our new milk house. They've got a little bit more side and some soffit and uh, oh, the corners, the white corners that go on. But overall, it's mostly done. 
So this here is the inside. Uh, they completely framed and insulated everything. I uh, got the windows and doors in. And then probably the most exciting part was uh, the new bulk tank is finally here. We've had it for quite a while now. It's been sitting in the yard on a pallet all wrapped in plastic. And we finally got it moved in here. This is our old bulk tank. It's a 90 gallon. And then the new one is uh, 285. So uh, we will be, the old milk tank is actually gonna be taken out and uh, we're selling it, I think. Got the wall in. Uh, I've got a little bit more to do in that corner. We've got to build an enclosure around the uh, water pump that's there, but overall, it's coming right along. So I just got done uh, replacing all the knives on the mower. And like I said, it's about six o'clock right now, so I'm gonna head out. I have about 10 acres that I'm gonna mow down tonight, which shouldn't take too long. And uh, We'll bail it tomorrow. It's a really, really nice second cut hay, so it should go pretty quick, I hope. So this is the field that we're doing tonight. It's, uh, I already made one pass all the way around just to make sure the mower was cutting good, which I kind of expected it would be, but uh, you never know. This here is about 10 acres. It's actually a little bit bigger, but there's a couple acres down at the bottom of the hill where I don't plan on mowing around a pond so I think it might be wet down there but yeah there is just a absolute pile of feed here so really excited about that so we're mowing with the Kubota again tonight uh, the TYM is still at the dealership and still not fixed so uh, I think we're gonna wind up doing all the uh, all the hang with this uh, for at least the rest of this week. All right, well, we're back at it this afternoon. Uh, we finished mowing hay last night. It was about eight o'clock and it was in the dark. So I had planned on mowing more hay this morning, but the plans have changed. So, so I originally had planned on uh, going out mowing more hay. Instead, what I did was I wound up actually picking up uh, those Amish, they are awfully quick at uh, getting stuff built, but they don't pick up after themselves very quickly. So uh, anyway, I went through and cleaned up all the construction debris this morning, cleaned up the addition. Uh, they won't be back today because they actually are cutting hay also. So when they left yesterday afternoon, they said the next rainy day is when they'll be back. It's all inside work, so, which is fine. It can wait a few days. So as you would have seen in I don't know, it was a couple videos back. We got a delivery, and I'm actually gonna open it up now and show you what it is. Uh, mostly because it's been sitting outside for about two weeks now, and it really needs to be put inside. The box has seen better days, so uh, I'm gonna get it open here. All right, well, there it is. It's a portable floor washing machine. So uh, oh, that comes up. Some it's a scrubber like the, uh, this is gonna clean the creamery floor and the uh, packing area floor. All right, one more mess to pick up and then I need to get out and uh, go grab the hay rake and head off and start raking hay to get it ready. To bailing up the hay and uh, I just get out this is the very first bale and I wanted to check on it and see how it's doing and uh, 
Boy, this is gonna be some really nice feed. This is the first bale. That's a glob of dry hay from that was stuck in the baler, but really good looking stuff. So it's gonna be quite a bit of it by the looks of it. This first bale was only just a short run, so uh, we have all that to go. So I'm guessing probably at least 30 bales, which would be really nice. Okay, well I just finished baling hay, and it is one of the ugliest baling jobs probably ever. So uh, had all sorts of issues. It raked up nice, but uh, this tractor does not like big windrows. So uh, what I needed to do was I uh, left the windrows kind of small, second cut, which is not a good combination. So uh, small windrows, thin, thinner hay or, you know, finer hay. And uh, yeah, really wasn't good. So this tractor really doesn't like, uh, it had all it could do with these little tiny windrows running this baler. It's unbelievable. This is the worst tractor I've ever driven, ever. Uh, no power, supposed to be 75 horsepower, but uh, not even close to that. So uh, I actually stalled it once while bailing. So we're gonna send the drone up. It probably looks better from about 400 feet up. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna give this a go again here. Uh, I'm not very good at flying the drone. I was never very good at uh, video games when I was a kid either, so it's kind of the same thing, but we'll see how this goes. At least if I crash it, it's out in the field. Attitude mode. Attitude mode. Not sure what attitude mode is, but... See if you can count the bales as I fly along. done bailing. I played with the drone for a while. I still don't know how many bales we have. There's probably about 30. Um, it's nice looking feed. Unfortunately the bales, this one here is one of the examples. It's a little rough. Didn't bale as great as it could so uh, yeah. That's what one that doesn't look right looks like. So this here is a much nicer looking bale. It's uh, flat on the edges, square across the top. It's going to wrap better. And uh, yeah, it is plenty solid. So that's what they should look like. Unfortunately, I couldn't rake the windrows as big as I would like, which makes much nicer bales. That baler loves huge windrows. So the bigger you make it, if you can drive over it, It'll suck it in and it makes really nice, tightly packed bales. Unfortunately, I had to rake the windrows really small. Uh, last time I baled with this tractor, I could almost stall it out. So, and that was on dry hay and this is not. So really concerned that I was going to uh, rake up all this hay and not be able to bale it. So kept the windrows really small, which uh, made not very good bales and it didn't pick up very good either so anyway whatever it's bailed now and uh, hopefully my tractor is back soon and uh, I can send this thing back so I'm gonna let you know in another video exactly what I think of this tractor there is some good points to it and uh, there's a lot of bad ones but I'm not about to buy a Kubota that is for certain especially this model all right well I need to get back up to the barn I need to go feed calves for the night and uh, 
this hay I'm gonna haul off and wrap first thing in the morning. So it's gonna sit here overnight. It's probably, I'm guessing at least seven o'clock, maybe 7.30 right now. Won't hurt it to sit overnight, so. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more of what we're doing here on the farm and our next video, which will come out on Sunday, we're gonna do a full farm tour. So uh, do a video of all the, the buildings. Planned on doing it sooner, but the hay had to be done today. So uh, next time, farm tour. <laughs>